Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Especially in the early days, we've seen a lot of distressed people and you can tell that they've been through a lot. Some people start crying. We hug them. The kind of work of the Blue Peony Foundation, part two of two. Please continue watching to find out more. You are loving the animal people? Then you are lying if you are not vegan. Menenyo, altruistic viewers. It means good luck in Ewe, one of the languages spoken in Togo. I'm Esosa. The people of Nature Field Togo pray that you experience moments of joy from the many small blessings that we have in life, such as the feeling of warm sunshine on our face or enjoying a hot cup of tea. Today we are delighted to present part two of our show, The Kind Work of the Blue Peony Foundation. In the preceding program, we learned how a small group of committed women in New South Wales, Australia, came together to create the foundation. This was done to support displaced Ukrainian people who have moved to Australia. By creating a central hub, the foundation provides social support to the refugees in addition to necessary items, including clothing, bedding, toys for children, and more. The Blue Peony Foundation accepts donations from individuals and organizations that enable it to provide this valuable service. Co-founder Zoya Douglas now explains how the effective use of social media has helped with the charity's success. It's the power of social media and also word of mouth. Now people recognize our organization. They get in touch. We get quite good exposure everywhere, almost in the whole of the country, but mostly obviously New South Wales. People, they find us. We look for partners who want to um, donate, but also they get in touch directly. The donations received have been essential to the newly arrived individuals and families in starting their new life in Australia. When beginning to rebuild their lives, many fundamental items are required. We are uh, set up at the Ukrainian Youth Center here in Litkem and it started off probably with an unorganized clothing donation where people who had just arrived from Ukraine here could just come here and grab some clothes because most of them didn't even come with a suitcase. Some people have told us that their suitcases were actually thrown out of the trains to make place for people. And um, so they might have picked up some bits and pieces on their journey here, but most people really need everything. So that's what we initially started to provide. Then over the last maybe three months, we've reached out to many other organizations and kind communities who help us with uh, food, toiletries, um, items for kids. We've got communities helping us with um, kitchen items, just the pure basics, bedding, pillows, bed linen, kettles, you name it, all of that. And I think that's how we've really expanded in the last couple of months as well. Um, not only clothes, but much, much more. The foundation has been assisting the newly arrived Ukrainians on many levels. This includes organizing English classes, aiding them in accessing the healthcare system, assisting with the purchase of transportation passes, helping individuals to prepare for job interviews, and so much more. And importantly, the volunteers are always present with a smile, a hug, and words of encouragement and support. Especially in the early days, we've seen a lot of distressed people and you can tell that they've been through a lot. Some people start crying and we hug them. Co-founder Irina Dohadina recalled the story of a woman who had arrived in Australia and had managed to find their center. When her hometown in Ukraine was destroyed, she didn't know where to go. 
she was desperately looking for solutions when she had the chance to come to Australia. As she was looking through the clothes, she couldn't help but release her feelings of grief. And now she's a refugee and she's going through the donation clothes, which is beautiful, but still, you feel a little bit undermined. You feel a little bit really stressed and abandoned. And she just started crying. Because you see, the people, first of all, they're tired. They don't also know what to do. They are scared. Thank goodness, the Blue Peony Foundation is providing such heartfelt assistance and aiding these beautiful people to find a brighter path. The foundation has been serving displaced Ukrainians for months now, and during this time, the co-founders have noticed some positive changes in those who are visiting the center. So now it's much better, you see, and yeah. you hear a lot of uh, more joyful stories. You see how the people are doing, and it's very nice. Do you remember that lady who came to dress up for the first interview? She was one of the ones that were very, very sad originally when we saw her first, and she admitted that she needed time to process it all. Now she comes here regularly to help us, but also she's an architect or something along those lines. And so she was getting ready for her interviews here in Sydney. We helped her find appropriate clothing and we dressed her and we were saying, oh, look, this looks so beautiful on you. Look, this color suits so nice. How about yeah. this little scarf? How about that jacket? And I think she felt alive. Alive and she felt welcomed and she felt like someone is taking care of her. And I can see that she's a changed person from the moment we met her to now. You can see this beautiful smile on her face. and. Yeah. Uh, hope in her eyes, she knows that it's going to be okay. Zoya and Irina also expressed their appreciation to the Supreme Master Shanghai International Association members from the Sydney Center. The association members have been purchasing vegan food and other necessities and donating them to the foundation as it has been so graciously assisting the Ukrainian arrivals. Through all this time, what we have seen every single Saturday, we have the delivery from uh, you guys. We have the delivery of food. We have the delivery of clothes. And I see people wearing them. So it warms my heart. And I want to say thank you that you have found us. I want to say thank you that you have provided us with the support. And every week you're on our side. Thank you very much. Honestly, without them... Um this community, we wouldn't be able to provide food items to the displaced Ukrainians. You're the only organization that supports us in this way. And it's very, very precious because finance is limited for the displaced Ukrainians. And here they can collect food for almost a whole week and they can last that way. They don't have to worry about not being able to feed their children or limit their food for the day. So it is extremely important. So we are very, very grateful that this is happening and that you support us um, in this way. And it's just very valuable. We thank you. For anyone who is inspired by the work of the Blue Peony Foundation, Miss Douglas has some words of encouragement if you are thinking of reaching out to assist someone who needs it. Don't be afraid and don't get side sidetracked by other people. If, if you know in your heart that there is something that you want to do, don't think that this is not enough. I'm just one person. And that's not true because I was one person when I put that message out. But look at us now. Yeah, there's a lot more than one and there's heaps of volunteers, so many supporters that want to help. They provide their services, they provide their, their goods they find us. So I can't even imagine the number of people that working on this together, maybe close to 500. I, I don't know. It's a, a lot. And it only happened in two months. So I would say if you think that there is something you can do out there, don't stop yourself. Don't let other people stop you. Exactly. Just do it. Just do it. And then you'll see what happens. Our thanks, the Blue Peony Foundation, for your love and care to the Ukrainian refugees coming to Australia. 
May God always shield you as you serve others. To learn more about the Blue Peony Foundation, please visit bluepeonyfoundation.org.au facebook.com forward slash bluepeonyfoundation Don't be a vegan because you seem to prefer hell to heaven. Gentle viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you with us today for our program. Coming up next is Supreme Master Ching Hai's advice to all religious faithful and the solution for our world's crisis, part 2 of 7, on Between Master and Disciples. May all the world's displaced soon find comfort and bliss. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique gpgw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada gpgw. Raikan Hong Rao, mi hai lai pasa, wrote do suprememastertv.com tap schedule. และ supremastertv.com ทับ GPGW 